Good morning, friends. So today we're gonna be doing a little bit more Halloween decorating. I've got this space here, and I'm planning on putting bats all across this arch. And I did this last year, and I really, really loved it. So I'm gonna use glue dots. These are the removable glue dots, not the permanent ones. To put it up on the wall. You still have to be really careful removing them though because they can take off the paint. And then I have these bats that I got from Amazon last year and they're really super cute. They have wings that kind of push out to make them look 3D and there's three different sizes. So I just put these different sizes all up the wall and over the arch, a few over there. And then I usually put just kind of a couple here up the wall just to kind of tie it together in my little Halloween table area. So I'm gonna be working on this this morning and then this afternoon um, I have a quick meeting and then I'm gonna run out to Target to get some things and groceries and the usual Sunday stuff. So I will just bring you along for our day. So these are what the bats look like and they just have little creases on there and then I'm just taking the glue dots and putting a couple on the back. It works mostly but some areas I did have to like put a couple dots on last year because they just wanted to fall down a little bit. So this year I'm gonna go ahead and put two glue dots on. So I just kind of sporadically put them a little bit of everywhere, all up the wall, and I have a number of different sizes. There's these little small ones as well, so that way you can kind of vary the look as you go up. So here to the left of the mirror, I just have a couple bats going up around the sign and then I took the bats over behind the fall tree and up and over the arch. And then some of them sometimes fall off uh, if the little glue dot doesn't work, doesn't stick. So then I just kind of leave the hole so they look sporadic. But right now they're very kind of evenly spaced out and I try to change the sizes up but it just kind of makes it fun and there's a little bit of extra detail here in the house and of course I've been liking bats lately so that's what that looks like. So we went for a little nature walk this morning and I came in and finished up some decorating real quick. I just took a shower and had some lunch. I am going to finish off my hair and then Natalie and I are going to run out and do some afternoon errands. We need to go to Target. I have a number of things on our list to get there. I've got to get dinners, some food stuff, some household stuff and then we will pick up our groceries on the way home and this is pretty much our Sunday routine. That is what we have time for. So I'm gonna get my hair done real quick so that we can go get some things done. So my hair is all finished up now and I'm just gonna put some jewelry on, finish up a couple things here around the house and then we are gonna head to Target. The kids are back at Atoka Boca stuff, so Isabella is buying the Robo Cafe, and she's back here dancing about it. <laughs> so here in our closet, we have a twin mattress that I got off of Amazon, and I'm letting it expand in here. It has another few hours to go. It's supposed to go for about 24 hours or so, at least, until you start using it. And we're gonna have a day bed that's gonna have a trundle underneath so the kids could use that for sleepovers or really whatever, just extra seating um, and comfy area upstairs in the playroom. But let's measure it real quick and see how tall it is. So it is just before the 24 hour mark and it has expanded a bit more and it is right at eight inches right now. Here it is, pretty much a fully expanded, and it is eight inches for how plush it is. So this is a multi-step process in our playroom. So we have the whole doll area on one side, and we're planning on keeping that, because the girls actually have quite an elaborate doll city set up in there. I should actually go show you real quick. Um, they have different like doll stations set up in there right now. And we have had the bean bag chairs in there for about a year and they've worked really well, but it definitely seems like we need more dedicated seating. And also it'd be really nice after COVID, if we had a space, if the girls had a sleepover or friends staying over where they could go like chill and hang out 
and it was maybe a little bit more space than their rooms or just kind of like a neutral area like hangout area so I had the idea to get a day bed that would have a trundle underneath so there'd be two sleeping areas the kids could even do a sleep out together so I thought that that would be cute maybe if they will get along and do it we'll see I'll report back on this idea and see if this pans out so this is what I thought of I was like okay cool instead of getting like a couch and going that route because I really don't want to do like regular furniture up there because it's a little bit too stuffy still with them it, it's definitely a kids room um, I thought well let's just do a day bed and then that way they can use it for lounging hanging out when friends are over sleepovers all that kind of stuff, assuming the world goes back to normal at some point. Um, but let me show you what they have set up. Obviously, all this stuff upstairs is going to have to move at some point um, once the day bed gets here. But we started getting the pieces for it. Um, and I think it should be all put together within the next couple weeks. But let me show you what the playroom looks like right now. So this is kind of like the before. So this is downstairs right now with all the Halloween decorations and a sleeping dog over there. And we will go run upstairs real quick so you can see the playroom. So so first of all, this is definitely the girls' room. They use this like a playroom. They have all kinds of businesses that run out of here. You can see that they have different like storylines that they have posted things on the walls for. It's been Birchwood Museum at one point. But they have different doll stations set up. So like over here, they have the Welly Wishers. They're all hanging out. Apparently Willa has fallen over. Um, this is a doll school right now. So they have different grades. I can't remember, but it was something like first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. Anyhow, they have this whole designated as a school, and there's certain dolls that are teachers, certain dolls that are students. There is a pet area over here. So they have like a whole storyline going on in here. Then over here, they have a bakery shop set up, and also like a, they're calling this like a fashion store over there. Um, so there's a lot of imaginative play going on up here and a lot of dolls everywhere and a lot of doll stuff everywhere. So I don't want to interrupt this because they definitely still use this quite a bit. This is actually their quote unquote house right now while the house is a school. Um, and yes, there's American Girl dolls all over the place. <laughs> uh, they lined it up down the hallway one day and my husband was joking it looked like girls in line to go to the bathroom because <laughs> there's a bathroom down the hallway. But anyhow. So we'll have to figure out, we need to reconfigure kind of some of the stuff here at the side anyways and just kind of reorganize this and maybe try to get some taller shelving um, up the wall and that sort of thing. And then for here, my idea is the day bed would kind of go here where their little restaurant is right now. These are the two chairs that we had. They've actually been pulling these into their rooms and using these in their rooms a lot, which is how this all started. This is a lake that's marked out with colored pencils. So everything is something that looks like there's just crap everywhere. But everything is something with their little like storyline that they're doing right now. Um, but anyways, these chairs, they worked definitely for a short period of time and they've been great and they've held up. But the kids actually like using these as reading chairs in their rooms. So I was like, well, it's probably time as we're kind of in this transition period to get like something over here on this side of the room to as a hangout space we'll start transitioning this side to where this is like kind of the hangout area and then this side will be more the kind of toy side for right now and all of that they have this is the fort building thing that Isabella got at Christmas and so she has used the heck out of this if you have kids that like to build forts it was an awesome awesome gift she absolutely loved it it's this like kind of like the structure and then they just use regular blankets over it. She's used that in so many different ways. So anyhow, this room is a work in progress, but this is real life. This is what it actually looks like when it's in the middle of a storyline. And um, so I don't, again, want to interrupt that too much, but I do think that we can put some functional seating and hangout area. And so like, it will just be from like, I think here, so like right here, and then they can use it to watch TV or do whatever. Isabella, are you in your laundry basket? Are you hiding? <laughs> You're silly. Back inside. <laughs> so yes, this is what they do up here. <laughs> this is kind of their whole domain, because Isabella's room's over here. 
What did you say? You live up here or you yeah. love up here? I live up here. Yes, yeah, so you live up here. This is like your little domain that you can scoot around in laundry baskets like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then they have all kinds of stuff going on. Am I about to crash into something? No, you're going right into the playroom door. Okay, yay. <laughs> <laughs> so we stopped past Dollar Tree first on the way to Target real quick. And I was able to get some of this floral foam. So I can put this down inside of that bat vase. Hopefully one of these will work. And then the sticks can hopefully sit in these and I'll cover it up with the orange crepe paper. So I'll let you know if that works or not. Then we got some blank items to use with the Cricut. Some shirts for Natalie for dance. A little tote. Um, and just some shirts to make things for. And then I got two of these cupcake containers. I'm going to make some vinyl to put on the tops of these and turn these into ear holders. So some fun projects today to finish up over and the next. I also got this notebook. It has a hundred sheets. <laughs> it has a hundred sheets. She got a good vibes notebook. It's really cute. It's got rainbows all over it. Yeah, and lightning bolts and hearts. Very cool. All right, now we are actually going to head to Target. We are going to run into Target real quick and grab some things we need for the week. We need lunch items, some snack items for the kids, and some household items. It does sound like the monorails at Disney. Natalie just said it sounds like the monorails at Disney. So why don't we get some of these? You guys can use these for lunches and snacks. All right, and we'll go over here, see what we're gonna find. She's trying to decide if she's gonna get any cereal. We found some lunch snack stuff. And she picked this out as a treat to have at home. I like Fruit Loops, but Dad says I can't have. Yeah, no Fruit Loops. Now I put some pumpkin cookies in the cart, and I have to get my creamer because this is the only place I can find it here. They have the Starbucks oat milk creamer here. They have all their Halloween outfits out. They're so cute. They have a couple really cute mini outfits. There's Mickey and Minnie, scary cute. No tricks, all treats. Oh, look at that baby Yoda. It's so cute. They're starting to put in their Halloween stuff where the back to school section was. The kids have already actually started getting their costumes. We're all going to Star Wars characters this year. We're gonna be a Star Wars family costume year. Oh, these little candy corn trees are cute. I like those. They have a wreath too. That one's nice. This is such a hodgepodge of stuff because I had to get some of it at Walmart this week, some of it at Target, but I'm going to get this unloaded and start putting it away. On the grocery side of things, it was a little wonky this week because they updated the app and they updated the app for Apple and I have Apple products so my app looked completely different for the Walmart grocery. They ended up combining it all back together, but my husband's has a, his is an Android and his apparently did not update and so when that happens, and Walmart has done this a couple of times, um, and just we so happen to be a family that is on different systems. When that happens, the accounts unsync because we're logging into the same account to put our grocery order in. So then he can't see what I'm putting in the cart. I can't see what he's putting in the cart, even though um, we are in the same account for whatever reason when it's a different version or mine is updated and his has not yet we can't put the grocery order together so it's a huge pain and stuff was just a little weird today like you couldn't it wasn't searching the same anyways it takes some time to get used to it after they updated it and it kind of looks a lot different if you do walmart grocery pickup and you have an apple product you probably know what i mean anyways this is what i did get today um almond milk apple juice this feta cheese the, the mediterranean herb is so good i love this i've been sticking this on top of a ton of different dishes and it's awesome if you like hot sauce um, so something that you can put hot sauce on too. It's really, really good. A couple things, uh, mushrooms and stems, some chickpeas, my husband's cream vanilla cookies, some bubbly, garlic knots to put in the freezer, Velveeta cheese. I posted on Instagram. One of the things I've been doing is kind of a um, inspired by Velveeta cheese with buffalo chicken and a little bit of the feta on top inspired by beaches. Um, they have an awesome mac and cheese truck there. Check out the videos if you haven't because it is delicious and I cannot wait to go back. Um, a couple of things of chicken for dinners, some eggs, uh, ketchup, hot sauce, 
olive oil, vegetable oil. We were kind of out of some of those types of things. Shredded wheat, um, my husband's granola bars, and a number of these McCormick uh, spices. Then on the Target side of things, I feel like it's more this week just because everything got kind of messed up with the Walmart grocery pickup order. So we got different things for lunches in here. I have to get my coffee creamer at Target. It's the only place that has this coffee creamer that I have found around here. I got some regular feta there, a couple peppers. We just slice those up and eat them like that. I needed to get a birthday card and a gift card that I needed to get mailed out. Natalie wanted black pants with flowers on them so she found these black pants with flowers on them and she wants to wear those to school this week uh hot and spicy wisp dots home style pretzels um natalie picked out some sharp cheddar cheese i got this shredded chicken to try i thought this might make really good tacos and we could also do some sandwiches and things with this and also for the first time i got this sliced turkey we're just trying to find different meals that my husband can eat and just kind of a different variety so i got this one to try i will let you know if it's any good natalie picked out the special k blueberry cereal we got this monster drizzle for snacks some mandarins they take those for snacks to school pumpkin cookies we'll probably make those next weekend but we went ahead and picked them up while we were at the store a number of different potatoes just to have on hand for sides same thing for the rice penne some croutons and then in the dollar section i got these little organizers i thought these were just a really neat size so this is a set of two that i got for a dollar and um, they're actually pretty deep so i thought that those were pretty good i got these little like tins to see if i can use these to replace the cauldrons i think these are probably going to be too big um but you know they're they're perfect Halloween size and I can always use them with the Cricut and put some cute vinyl on them. So there's that. And then in the dollar section, they had these little mini potion bottles. They had so many different varieties of these. But of course I found one that says bat wings and it's got little tiny bat confetti in there. How cute are those? I absolutely love this. So I got the bat wings. Then I also got one that said Haunted House Dust, and it's just got a glittery orange kind of shimmer glitter in there. So these will be something I'll probably use here in the kitchen, but they're adorable and they were only a dollar. I'm going to get all of this stuff put away, and then it's going to be time to figure out what we are going to do for dinner. And it is going to be dinner and bath time and all of that routine because tomorrow is a school day. I'm going to put these mandarins in the bowl so they are easy to grab and the kids pack their own lunches and snacks a lot of times i'm getting everything put away in the doors for the week we actually want to probably get a new refrigerator sometime soon so i've got to start looking um, to find what we want and i really like this style because it's easy for the kids to kind of grab their own um you know snacks and make their own lunches but i like this is the type of refrigerator where it's like the two doors which i need to wipe off in the lower freezer i've seen the one that has like the snack drawer pull out which seems like it's really easy and handy for kids let me know in the comments if you have one of those if you like it because that's what i'm kind of leaning towards replacing this with we've had this kind of refrigerator on the top freezer on the bottom style for years and I really like this but with that extra drawer to pull out I just thought I could put like all the kids stuff in that drawer and it would just be really handy for them to grab things out so that's kind of what I'm thinking about zeroing in on looking at but let me know if you like it don't like it hate it kind of like it I'd be interested to hear your thoughts because um, it would be different than any one we've ever had so before. while i am finishing dinner i'm gonna get this floral brick that i got at the dollar store and i'm going to see if i can get this arranged in the bottom i think i may cut it this way and then i'm going to wrap it in the orange crepe paper so you just see the orange through but I'm trying to decide how high I want it to be in there. I feel like these are sturdy enough that I can just maybe go this way. We'll see. They're only a dollar, so I could always go back and get another one. So I cut the brick into a piece that'll fit down inside, and I'm going to wrap this in orange crepe paper, and then I'll just stuff like extra orange crepe paper around it just to fill it in, and then we will see if it'll hold these up inside the vase. 
I've got my foam brick all wrapped up. I'm going to slide that down in there. I'm going to stick that down in there. So far, it appears to be working. And here is the third one. I might even have to go back and get a couple more penguins getting wound up. And I think once I stuff some crepe paper down in there, that should hold it up pretty well. But it's definitely staying up straighter. I think that actually works surprisingly well. And all you can see is the orange crepe paper through the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that like that. It's fanned out now. And I actually really love what that looks like. So we ended up having the turkey and some potatoes for dinner. And that was really good. We're cleaning up from dinner. But we're having this Munster drizzle for dessert. And it is really, really good. So I definitely recommend this. So here is the Zenis 8 inch green tea memory foam mattress and this is sitting on the Zenis platform bed as well in case you're looking at that. It did completely inflate to the 8 inches. It's actually pretty firm. You can see that it presses down and then pops right back up. So she is looking forward to a good night's sleep on this tonight. So I hope you enjoyed following along with our decorating this weekend, starting to get some of our fall and Halloween things out. Still have a little bit left to do inside the house and more to do outside as well. So I will share kind of our decor tour in the next couple videos or so. We'll also be doing some vlogs and some pre-travel videos right around the corner. So thanks for watching today and have a great day.